there are different kinds of prayers in the Bible. Ephesians 6, 18 says, praying with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, praying with all prayer. What does that mean? Well, one translation says, praying with all manner of prayer. Another translation says, praying with all kinds of prayer. So there are different kinds of prayer. There's praying in tongues. There's prayer, prayer of agreement. There's a united prayer. There's the prayer of faith. There's a prayer of consecration and dedication. There's a prayer of uh, casting your care on the Lord. Each kind of prayer has a different set of rules. Just like you have different sports that have different, uh, I believe I've, went over, uh, I've covered this, but I'm going to go over it again for the sake of those who we have new people coming all the time. Just in, in different sports, for example, you have different rules that govern those sports. You don't take a football player when he's going down the field with the ball called traveling on him because he didn't dribble the football. See, that's a rule that governs basketball. But if you take that over and try to apply that rule to football, uh, you're going to be messed up. And, and, re- and that's the reason why a lot of people are messed up in prayer, because they take rules that govern one kind of prayer and try to bring it over and make it fit another kind of prayer where it doesn't belong. Like the prayer of consecration and dedication, Jesus prayed, if it's possible, let this cup pass from me, uh, dying on the cross for our sins to take away the sins of humanity. He said, if there's some other way, I mean, this can be done, Father, let it be done another way. But hey, hey, not, hey not, not my will, but your will. Not what I want, but what you want. Not my will, but yours be done. So what was Jesus doing there? He was praying a prayer of consecration and dedication. And in that kind of prayer, you can pray the same thing every day. You can say, Lord, whatever you want me to do, I'll do. Wherever you want me to go, I'll go. And you can pray that prayer every day until Jesus comes back, saying the same words. And that's a good prayer. But this kind of prayer, this is another kind of prayer in Mark 11. Are you following me? This is a prayer of faith. This is for answered prayer uh, for, uh, concerning petition prayer. And Jesus said, therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask. Another translation says, what, what, what things soever you desire. So God wants to give you the, your desires. Whatever things you ask, when you pray, believe that you receive. So the time to go back and get the tape. I don't, if I get back into this, I'm going to go over the same thing. But it's, it's good anyway. Good review. But go back and get the tapes, to, so I'm, I'm going a little quick here, just to cover and catch everybody up. But you pray one time. You can only pray one time and be in faith when it comes to petition prayer. He said, when you pray, believe, you receive. When you pray, believe. When you pray, when you pray believe. So the time to believe for your healing, for finances, for example, believe that you receive when you pray. And when you pray, it has to be now, which makes this a prayer of faith, because Hebrews 11, 1 says, now faith is. Faith is present tense. Faith is now. So the time to believe is now. Believe you receive when you pray, and when you do that, the promise is you shall have it future tense. 